everybody, it's Paige Evans, and I want to walk you through my newest mini album made with my Pink Paisley Whimsical Collection and documenting our day in Bayreuth, Germany. So I used my mini album with scalloped edges cut file, and I cut a different pattern paper for the front and back, so 10 pattern papers total. And then I also cut another page from Smooth White cardstock for each of the pockets. I turned all of these pages into pockets so that I could add even more photos and memorabilia. There are three binder rings that hold the album together, and on this top binder ring, I took off the thread tassels from five of the paper clips and looped them on to the binder clip and then also added one of the butterfly charms. So on the front cover I splashed white acrylic paint and watercolors and then I used the colorful mini alphabet stickers from the sticker book to say Bayreuth and then these gold mini foam alpha stickers are from the Auburn Lane collection. So I added them over a paper sticker washi tape strip and then added two floral die cuts underneath. So in this first pocket page I used flower stickers and die cuts around the edges, trimmed the excess, and added typed and printed journaling. This is my favorite font, font, Remington Noiseless. And I just copied and pasted from my blog post recap and then tucked in a small photo. I get asked all the time how I print my small photos. I use a combination of Picasa and Photoshop and then get them printed at Costco or if I need it immediately, I'll just print it at home. I have a Canon Pro 100 printer. On the back, I added a slightly larger photo and then layered some stickers and die cuts at the top and then machine stitched around three edges and this helps keep the photo in place as well as the flowers. And then this just tucks right back into this pocket page. So any machine stitching that I did on the pages, I did it first because if I machine stitched through it, it would be on both sides. And I turned each of these pages into pockets by stitching around the top left and bottom edges. On this first page, I added a flower die cut trimmed in half, overlapped it over a sticker, and then added more of the printed journaling strips. Here's a picture of our drive over to Bayreuth. And then there's this play gold chipboard sticker. On this page, I did embroidery, so hand stitching over the flowers that, pr that were printed on this pattern paper. So this orange flower, I, or I hand stitched with orange thread and added the pink stitching details. And it took about two hours to do this embroidery, but I really love the texture and dimension and pop of color that it had, so it was totally worth it to me. Inside the pocket page, I trimmed, or I cut, one page from white smooth cardstock for each of the pockets and then I added modeling paste through a doily stencil. I trimmed this flower die cut in half and then added two small photos on top. On the back side it's a larger photo and then layered more stickers and journaling at the top and stapled this heart sticker in place but only through the top layers or else it would the staple would go through both sides. And it tucks right back into this pocket. On this second spread, I added the pendant chipboard stickers and machine stitched through them. Again, I did all the machine stitching before creating the pocket and added a couple of flower or butterfly die cuts and butterfly puffy stickers and some more journaling. So a pretty simple page. On this page, I splashed white acrylic paint onto the background before layering all these chipboard stickers and flower die cuts and then tucked my photo right into there. In this pocket, did some mixed media on the background. Again, I trimmed a flower sticker in half. You'll see that technique a lot throughout this mini album. And then used some of the frames in this collection. So there's a chipboard frame and a regular sticker frame and wrote journaling underneath. Here I used modeling paste and a flower stencil again on the background and then I watercolored over it with my favorite Prima watercolors, added this flower die cut and then tucked another little photo. Again, some machine stitching to attach these flower stickers in place permanently and again, tucks right into the pocket. On the third spread, I did more modeling paste through a flower stencil. There's two flower die cuts, two photos, two flower puffy stickers and then two chipboard stickers. 
This page is pretty simple. Added two of the two um, flower photos over two floral papers. These are from the two by two paper pads. This is a pretty ephemera die cut, literally. <laughs> and a chipboard flower sticker, butterfly puffy sticker, and a little piece of a border sticker. And the next pocket page, this one's pretty simple. I just did some layering. And on the back side, more modeling paste through. This is actually one of my cut files. It's a heart background cut file that I did mo scraped modeling paste through and then did more layering. So this one's pretty simple. Let's see if I can tuck it back inside. On the last spread, this is a four by six photo that I trimmed down just to fit inside and rounded the corners to match. Added more journaling strips on this white space and then a Be Adventurous sticker because it's a travel day. On this page, I did hand stitching through the butterfly trails and then I cut out the partial, partially cut out the butterfly wings so that they could all bend up and create lots of texture and dimension. And then I put a butterfly charm onto a smaller paper clip and attached it onto the photo. Inside this last pocket, I created another flower frame with leftover flower die cuts and had space for one last photo. On the back side, I just applied a rub on that says good day, cause it was a good day, and a trio of tiny puffy heart stickers and a flower border sticker. So this was a really fun day. I love documenting our travels. I still have a lot more to go. So this is going to be the year of mini albums, my friends. I'm going to make lots and lots of mini albums. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are inspired to use the Whimsical Collection to document your adventures or other fun events in your life. Have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.